We begin this practice by finding a comfortable stationary position, adjusting the key elements of our posture. allowing ourselves to breathe naturally. With our body choosing the optimal rhythm, depth, and volume of breathing with each new cycle. And we bring our awareness into the body by noticing the tactile sensations arising throughout this vast somatic field in the here and now. Releasing more and more tension with each exhalation. And soothing the system of body and mind. to prepare ourselves for the main part of this practice. We then also generate a profound and vast motivation for this meditation by reconnecting with our highest spiritual or psychological aspirations and directing this meditation towards those. May it contribute to the fulfillment of those goals, bringing greater benefit to ourselves and all beings. And with that as the foundation, we return to the body and we spend some time once again noticing the somatic sensations, the dance or the play of sensations in the field of our body. First, as a concentration practice where we withdraw our attention from all the other types of experiences. All the sounds, the visual forms, smells, tastes, and different types of mental phenomena, such as our thoughts, memories, desires, and so forth. And then from this focused observation, we transition into an insight style practice. And for that, we need a question. Any insight style practice, any practice of Vipassana, starts with a question. And the question in this case is, whether these sensations that we are experiencing are permanent or impermanent. We're observing the field of the body, we're observing the dance of these sensations, and with each moment we are discerning whether the sensations that we're noticing are changing.
It's as if a part of our mind becomes a little scientist, making these observations with each moment, again and again discerning whether the sensations are changing or not. And since we primarily experience our body by means of these sensations, since it's our primary point of contact with the body, recognizing that the sensations are impermanent and recognizing that with clarity, coherence, intensity, would help us understand and then eventually realize in a stable manner that the body itself as this energetic phenomenon is also impermanent by its nature. moment by moment discerning, discerning the nature of the experiences. Seeing whether there's any stability to them, any permanence. Not through elaborate conceptual analysis, which might play a large role in other types of insight practice, but through direct observation, united with mental stability and a level of joyful curiosity. knowing that each moment of clear seeing strengthens our inner network of clear understanding, our inner network of wisdom, or our accumulation of wisdom, as it's sometimes described in the Buddhist tradition. And with that confidence, Simply observing, observing and discerning. Doing this research in the inner lab of our somatic field.
and then letting go of the process of discernment, letting go of the question, and once again simply experiencing the sensations. checking to see if there's any change in the way we experience them now. And then letting go of that object to simply rest in the natural clarity of our mind itself with no reference point, no particular support. And then from that spacious clarity, turning towards the process of dedication, dedicating the energy of this practice to, once again, our highest spiritual or psychological aspirations, our aspirations for the well-being of this world, all the beings in it, our aspirations for the unfolding of our own amazing potential, our basic goodness, so that all beings may live in greater peace, experience happiness, and be free from suffering. With that, Returning to our body, noticing the sensations in the body, grounding ourselves in those sensations. Then introducing some gentle movement to the body as we perhaps rock back and forth, move our fingers, move our toes, and then slowly conclude this meditation as we invite the bell.